Just letting you guys know, you can listen to my No Bleeps podcast anywhere you stream podcasts or on my No Bleeps YouTube channel. Link in the description. Hey guys, it's Billy and welcome back to Spill Sesh. Today we are doing a weekly tea cap and we are talking about David Dobrik's new travel show, Addison Ray's and Netflix deal, Lil Huddy's Burger King meal, and Moses coming out to talk all about these rumors that are swirling around him and Trisha. Let's get into it. So first off, let's talk about David Dobrik. Obviously, at the beginning of the year, it seemed like David was never going to get another sponsorship ever again. All of his sponsors were pulling him and nobody wanted to work with him because of all the scandals that he was getting into. But it seems like obviously he's turned a new leaf. He's back to making normal content and Discovery Channel loves working with David. They worked with him all throughout Shark Week and now they are working with him again. Forbes reported YouTuber David Dobrik signs deal with Discovery streaming service for a travel series. David Dobrik is going to be in a travel series. He got his green card and he has been posting all over on Instagram, all over social media, traveling with the vlog squad. All of them have been going on a vacation, traveling all over Europe so far. And I mean, you know, a lot of people have a lot of things to say about this because they don't think that David should be getting these opportunities, but he is. So I definitely want to know what you guys think about this. And let's move into a whole other scandal revolving an influencer getting another deal. And that is Addison Ray, you guys. People are on fire over this because Addison Ray has received a multi picture deal with Netflix. Yes. Variety reported this week, TikToker Addison Rae signs film deal with Netflix. This is absolutely crazy and it has upset a ton of people because there are a lot of people saying that he's all that was not a good movie. People said that Addison's acting wasn't that great. I did enjoy the movie. I didn't go in with super high expectations. I thought it was going to be like the kissing booth type of movie, but obviously the movie did it crazy numbers. The movie was number one and they said 78 different countries. And they said that it is reported that 55 million households will watch he's all that like that is exactly why they are signing this deal with addison because those numbers are insane and netflix only sees those numbers and is looking at the dollar signs that can come from it so they are looking at addison and they are thinking dollar signs they are not thinking let's give the best actress out there this undiscovered person with all this talent that's been working so hard an opportunity they're thinking let's give addison a deal because she's making us a ton of money that's honestly what it comes down to it definitely sucks that's how things work but money is what drives a lot of things in this industry and that is exactly why addison is getting this deal she commented in this variety article saying getting the opportunity to work with netflix was such a pinch me moment and now to be able to continue the relationship is beyond my wildest dreams ray said i'm thrilled to be able to collaborate with this incredible team and am excited to develop projects while continuing to strengthen my skills as an actress. So that's what's going on with Addison. Let's talk about somebody that I kind of forgot existed, and that is Lil Huddy. No shade to Lil Huddy, but I just totally haven't heard any drama or any tea or anything about him recently until now. And that is that, you know, McDonald's has been doing all these meals with all these big artists. And then all of a sudden Burger King wants to join in and they're like, oh, TikTokers, let's give a Lil Huddy a Burger King meal. I don't know what possessed them to want to do this. It is so incredibly random to me, but they are doing it. It is all a part of their keep it real meal campaign. And they have asked Nelly, Anita and Lil Huddy to be in this campaign. And the whole point of the campaign is that they're going to be using their real name. So obviously Nelly, Anita and Lil Huddy are stage names. So they're going to be calling it the Cornell Haynes Jr. meal, the Larissa Machado meal, the Chase Hudson meal which there were a ton of people when i posted this on instagram saying who eats at burger king anymore but then there were also some people saying that his meal sounded so good his is the spicy chicken sandwich with cheese a four piece mozzarella stick and a chocolate shake to go with it and people honestly seemed kind of hyped about it but just a little surprised as to why they picked little huddy to be in it anyways that's what's going on with little huddy let's get into the story of the day and that is that moses is the 
addressing drama. Moses for once is coming out and he is talking about what has been going on with him, things that are rumored with his alleged ex and Trisha. Um. Obviously, earlier this week, Moses did come out to deny any cheating rumors that occurred when that photo of him and this random woman at Venice Beach were going around on Reddit. He said that that was just one of his friends. He was not cheating on Trisha currently. Nothing like that was going on. And since then, on the Reddit thread, there's been a lot of stuff that has come out about Moses. And there have been some quite dark things that have come out that involve his ex-girlfriend, which he is now coming out and saying that none of that is true and that in fact that's not even his ex-girlfriend at all they didn't date like there was no title on anything that they were and so i'm just gonna read you guys what has been said on his part so he posted on twitter the date and said recently there has been a serious allegation made against me that is not true i have chosen to not give attention to it out of respect for this person's well-being but now the lies have gone too far i met this person only once in real life on february 14th to 15th 2020 she is not my ex she was never my girlfriend i am showing these texts to show the timelines of what actually happened i made it clear i didn't want to lead her on and that's nobody's fault she continued to ask me to meet up with her and have a relationship with her after i made it clear i didn't feel we were a match she got upset when me and trisha started dating well after we stopped talking and continued to plead with me to date her and not trisha it's been a year and a half of this person spreading lies but now this new false accusation cannot be ignored please read this thread for the text messages when we were communicating and a lot of these messages is basically her saying that she wants to be with moses and moses being like you know it's just not gonna work out she's like begging moses to hang out begging him to you know do things with her and obviously the text messages paint it in a light that she really wants to be with moses and really likes moses and he does not really have the same feelings for her there's a ton of people that are replying to moses that says that this doesn't really address any of the accusations really that she has said on her part because this particular ex-girlfriend has come out and said that things occurred during the time that they were together in which like she really wanted to be with him and they were hanging out and she had alleged that when they were together something happened in the middle of that that she didn't particularly like and people found very alarming in Moses's character to do something that way a lot of people that have replied to this tweet are saying that this only proves that they were never actually dating with a title, but this does not address any of the accusations that have been made. People want answers for those things. People are saying just because, you know, you weren't in a relationship doesn't mean that something, you know, didn't occur. Just because she's saying something in these text messages, like she wants you and all this stuff doesn't mean that at one point it was a different story. So there are a lot of things that are being said and obviously everything that the ex is saying is alleged, but Moses is, you know, saying, in this post he is denying all pretty much that's what he's saying so this is an extremely messy messy situation but moses wants to kind of make it clear that this girl really liked him wanted to be with him and had fun while they were together because he's included so many text messages like there are so many replies to himself under this tweet just posting like multiple text messages and videos of text messages of her saying oh i liked it and all this stuff like it's just a lot and it's a lot to go through all these messages and read all of them and see everything that's been said but those are basically the messages that he chose to share this post is also making it clear that moses is denying ever cheating on this particular person while starting the relationship with trisha because the ex had alleged that when moses started dating trisha that he was also in a relationship with her and that he was just saying that the relationship with trisha was a joke and that it was all for age three and he didn't really like them and he was saying all these hurtful things about them and making fun of them and it was not good he hasn't addressed the nasty hurtful things that you know she had posted receipts of so i'm hoping those are not real because honestly those things are extremely hurtful the things that he said about trisha and if those were real if i was trisha i would be very hurt by all of the body shaming stuff that was seen in those messages but i definitely want to know what you guys think about what moses's statement is let me know how you guys feel about all that is going on and everything else we talked about today in the comments down below i love you guys so much and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye guys